Across the globe, indigenous communities have long intertwined age-old practices with their culture, not just for survival but as a way of life. But as our world changes, these traditions are disappearing. In the far northeast of India, nestled in Arunachal Pradesh, lies a land rich in both biodiversity and culture. Here, traditional hunting practices have been shaped by cultural taboos and spiritual beliefs. These taboos, once rigorously enforced, have historically regulated hunting practices, protected sacred species and habitats. But as modern pressure threaten both wildlife and cultural traditions, we face some crucial questions. Did these practices play a pivotal role in sustaining wildlife populations and biodiversity? And could this still guide us today? Hi, I'm Deep Kokoy, a doctoral fellow at the Center for Wildlife Studies. My research focuses on uncovering how traditional hunting taboos have influenced wildlife populations. I'm exploring regions where these taboos have eroded compared to places where they're still followed to explore the true impact on conservation. Growing up in this region, I've seen the delicate balance between preserving these traditions and embracing a rapidly changing world. This research seeks to offer new perspectives to conservation so that by blending ancient knowledge with modern science, we can create novel strategies that are ecologically effective and culturally relevant. But now I need your support in today's fast-paced world we are at risk of losing both wildlife and the traditions that could help protect them. By contributing, you are empowering research that aims to bridge the past with the future. Together, let's shape a more sustainable world where tradition and innovation walk hand in hand, preserving both nature and culture.